let my head down if I want. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I am doing the long awaited for plan with me video. I've been wanting to do one of these for a really long time, but I feel like this is something that I wanted to really plan out and make sure that I truly share every part of the planning process because I'm a huge planner and I love not only just like planning, writing things down and like the structure of it, but to me, it's like fun. It's a helpful, essential part of my life as a small business owner and just like someone that works from home, but it's also like a hobby in a way. The older that I get, the more I realize how quickly time goes by. I can't believe it's already the last day of March. Tomorrow is April. I mean, time just flies. So I am constantly trying to improve my life, which you guys have probably seen if you are not new around here, then you know I've been really trying to work on improving my life finding out what truly makes me happy. I'm trying to live more intentionally, I'm working a lot on my spending lately, and just trying to get into like a solid routine because it's hard when you're working for yourself or even if you're working from home, like having that freedom makes things difficult. And if you clicked on this video, then you already know this is a digital planning video and I recently designed my own digital planner that is completely structured around fitting the life of everyone. Like literally whatever you might need, this planner has it. I have templates for everything. I worked on it for months. I'm so excited that it's finally available for you to purchase. So if you want to check it out, you can go to the link in the description, but that is the planner that I'm going to be using today. I'm also going to link my Amazon storefront, which shows the accessories that I use. My iPad is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and then the Apple Pencil too. And then I recently got this really, really cool keyboard. It's a mechanical style keyboard, but it's from Amazon. So it's not super expensive and it's pink and like colorful. It's really cute. Here's what this looks like i honestly wasn't expecting much because it's like an off brand you know it's not like the logitech one that a lot of people use but that was a hundred dollars and i just like could not reason with that right now um so i did get this one i really really do like it honestly i have no complaints i also like that it's battery powered so you don't have to recharge it you can just like swap out the batteries and take it with you plus it's just really cute just cracked open a celsius Cheers. But before we actually get into the planning aspect of this video, I want to talk about goals, reflecting on last month, and then of course we're going to do a mood board. So for the mood board, I bought these two giant poster board things. They're like really interesting. I don't even know what this material is, but I got them at Michael's and they didn't have one that was like sturdy enough like this um, because I wanted one, you know, that could like stand up. It's like really, really thick and sturdy. But the ones that they had that were like this size were like a regular like thick paper poster board so they would bend too much. So I just got two of these and then I actually taped them together so you can kind of see the line. But once I make the mood board, you know, it's going to be like a collage and it's going to cover the whole thing. And then I hang it on my wall. So I'm really excited. Right now I'm completely obsessed with self-love, self-growth, everything like that. And I definitely want the mood board to be like really pretty and kind of like go together, sort of like this does. Also this wallpaper I made and it is available on my shop. I will link it in the description. Um, it's free so you can download it if you want, but I did make this one and it's just like a little mood board. Obviously the one that I'm about to make is going to be quite a bit bigger, but let's get to it. First things first, we have to go to Pinterest and start looking for some inspiration. Okay, I just gathered all the pictures that I want to use and I just saved them in like a PNG format and I honestly just kind of guessed the sizes. I'm probably going to need to resize and reprint a few of them and maybe even add some more, but I'm going to go ahead and just start with this and send them to my printer. Okay, I have all of the images printed. 
My printer did an okay-ish job. I could have printed these a lot better if I wanted to and like use nice paper, but it's okay. Some of these I actually made myself on Canva. Um, this is one of them. Might seem really, really obvious to some people, but when your life is centered around social media, it's really easy to get caught up in like the likes and comparing yourself and wanting to do things for social media instead of for yourself and then just sharing it on social media, which is something that I've been talking to my therapist a lot about. Like without social media, without, you know, trying to appease the internet world and trying to, you know, create this image of myself online, who am I? What do I actually like? And do I like myself? Like, without all of that, you know? It's a difficult thing to talk about, but it's just something that I'm really working on with myself and I have been, I wanna continue to. And then the other one, um, this is a quote online, but I made my own version of it on um, Canva. And it just says, make sure you're happy in real life, not just on social media. It's kinda where my mind's at right now. So. Yeah, let's start cutting these out. I have like a literal giant glue stick that we're going to glue them on my poster board with. And I don't even know if this is like gonna work. Oh God, no. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how old this glue stick is, but it's clearly like years old because there's like nothing even hardly left. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I might just, use, actually, I think I'm just gonna use tape because it's like dried up. I don't even know why I have this. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I used a glue stick. It's probably from when I was a teacher. Like. Like the color was just way off. Um, in fact, the one that I printed that said just peachy was like pink. So I feel like that just doesn't look right because it's just peachy. So it's supposed to be peach. Um, so I'm going to reprint some of them and I'm actually going to like remake my own version of some of these on Canva because I think the reason why my printer's printing them so terribly is because they came from um, Pinterest and they are just like already really poor quality. Finally finished my mood board. You guys, this took way longer than I expected. So if you're going to try this, then just be prepared because it's going to take you a few hours. I mean, I guess not if you do like a normal size one, but this is absolutely huge. 
Also say hi to Trooper. A lot of people will have them professionally printed on like four by six like photographs and then cut them out. Obviously they will look a lot better, but I think this turned out really, really cute. And I didn't want to do that because one of my goals right now is to spend less money. So I'm trying to get better about like impulsive purchases and unnecessary purchases. So this didn't cost me anything to do. The poster boards I actually already had because I was using those a while back for a flat lay when I was taking photos for Sunstyle. So. Yeah, I'm gonna hang this up now. I'm gonna use command strips. So the next thing I'm about to do is work on my monthly focus. This is a part of the self-care journal. I've been using it a lot lately. So it has like these pages for every single day, which is really helpful if you are someone that likes to journal. A little spot for gratitude, affirmations, high and low of the day rating the day, kind of tracking your mood, and then of course a little area to just like write a summary of whatever you want to for that day. So I've been doing that. But the start of a new month means we are going to do a new monthly focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this right now. And this is good notes, but because I don't usually use stickers or do any actual writing in this, I'm just gonna do this one on my computer and then we'll move over to my planner on my iPad. It's now April 2nd. Did not plan on stretching this video out like this, but I had a lot going on and I wasn't able to resume and I wanted this to be like a full month of April planning for me. So I figured I would just leave this video and kind of do it. Here we are. It's still the beginning of the month. I'm not worried about it.
So that is going to be it for this plan with me video. I didn't make it as detailed as I had initially planned to because I just realized how long this video is going to be if I like do a voiceover and talk about everything in the planning process, but I will definitely do another one of these. I actually really enjoyed filming this. So if you guys are interested in seeing more plan with me videos, let me know. Otherwise, you can expect um, me like sharing some behind the scenes of like my weekly plans and how I'm using like the different templates and stuff like the fitness template, goal planning, habit tracker, all of that stuff like I will feature in my regular vlogs, but I just kind of wanted to outline the month for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.